It's 802. The candidates for Chicago mayor are making their final campaign pushes this weekend ahead of Tuesday's election. Judy's live in the newsroom with the latest on this highly contested race. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. Many of the mayoral hopefuls have spent millions of dollars on TV ads, and now it will come down to voter turnout. Candidates are holding get out the vote events this weekend to make sure their political bases show up at the polls. Early voting numbers are way up, more than double the numbers at this point in the last two municipal elections. Mayor Lori Lightfoot is seeking her second term. She is trying to fend off eight challengers. With so many in the race, it is nearly certain there will be an April 4th runoff between Tuesday's top two vote getters. Polls suggest the four candidates who have the best shot at making the runoff are former CPS Chief Paul Vallis, Congressman Chewy Garcia, Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson, and Lightfoot. Others running, businessman Willie Wilson, Alderwoman Sophia King, community activist J. Maul Green, Alderman Roderick Sawyer, and State Rep Cam Buckner. Voters have consistently cited crime and public safety as their number one concern. Early voting expanded to all 50 wards last week, and Chicagoans can register and vote at any of the sites, including Tuesday. The Chicago Board of Elections reports more than 170,000 people have already cast ballots. An overwhelming majority are mail-in ballots. This morning, we spoke with Stevie Vallis, who is with Chicago Votes, which works to encourage young people to participate in the process. And young people are really energized around this election, uh, really excited, I think. Uh, because there's so many different candidates, um, young people feel like they have a bunch of options. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's really important. Some of the most important issues are policing, uh, community relations with the police. I think uh, people are really excited to be able to vote for the uh, police district councils that are new on the ballot this year as well. More than 100 candidates are running for the new police district councils. There will be a three-member council in each of the 22 police districts. Members will hold regular meetings to solicit residents' feedback, report that to the commanders, and help develop community policing initiatives. In the newsroom, Judy Wang, WGN News.